Hello and welcome everyone to the Master Clue Heidi Hall tutorial. First things first, the most important question everyone has. It costs about 30 mil to get these Heidi Halls done, but the prices might be fluctuating depending on the GE prices of all these items. The list of things you're gonna need is in the description of the video, so click that and also on the screen right now. Also, all the skill requirements for these high-end holes are gonna be in the description. Alright, so let's get started. You are going to need 8-8 construction to build stash units for master clues. For this first set of high holes, you will be needing 8 mahogany planks and 4 gold leaves. Don't forget your saw, hammer and nails and preferably a stamina pot for each run. You're gonna need two legend scapes, a death tiara, arc light, whip, dragon pickaxe, ring of wealth, spined chaps, rune boots, hem of neats, a teleportation method to Zia, glory, and an amulet of dance. So go ahead and teleport to the center of Zia and go down the slayer cave. And right there in the middle, you're gonna be able to build a stash. Fill it in. And now we're gonna go to Edgeville. You're gonna wanna go through the soul rift and build it right here. Now you're gonna want to teleport back to Edgeville and go through the death rift this time. Also build it here on the side. Now you can teleport to Drain Village and build a stash here in the bush. Fill that in and we're done. get to the bank and fill up for the next one. For this clue you're gonna need a games necklace and a tavern teleport unless you have a mech scape. Climbing boots, slayer helm, a dragon defender, dragon battle axe, BGS, bando's blade body, bando's cloak, dragon chain, dragon skirt, zamorak, god sword and the bull roarer. First of all we're gonna teleport to birth rope. You can either use your game snaggles or a mech scape. Once inside of Warrior's Guild, head to the bank and find the box stash right in the corner here. Fill it in. And this is where your Dragon Defender is gonna be. So if you're not getting a replacement, this is, this is the one clue that you wanna make sure that you know where it is. Head on to the next location. Head outside the gate and up to the Goblin Diplomacy Quest location. Next you're gonna wanna use a minigame teleport to Nightmare Zone or your mechscape teleport to Yanil. Head just outside of Yanil to the northwest. Climb up the ladders and build a stash there. Now you're going to want to head to the Varrox Castle and find your way through the Varrox Castle in front of the garden from the Garden of Tranquility quest. Okay, so this is the complicated part. You're going to have to have 80 for crafting or a friend who can help you with this step who has 80 for crafting. You're going to need six pieces of black dragon leather, thread, needle, gold leaves, and two planks. Teleport to Drainer Village and head to Port Sarim. Take a boat to Entrana. Once you're in Entrana, head to the church, build a stash there, and make one of each black dehyde body, black dehyde bams, and black dehyde chips. For this one, you're going to need a fire cape and a totsk seal, a crystal bow, a set of mystic robes, dark, a dragon axe, ibon staff, manaphite set, and the fire and scepter. Let's start off by getting to a spirit tree. Code BKQ. Head to southwest and build a stash there. Next up, you're gonna wanna use your necklace of passage and teleport to the outpost. This map shows which way to get to Iban.
Once inside, go down the well and build a stash there. Next up, we're gonna use the glory and teleport to Karamja. You can also use a minigame teleport to Tsar. And head down to the gem shop. After that, use your scepter to teleport to Jalsara. For this step, you're gonna need level 81 thieving. Get to the room 7 of 8 and build a stash here. Unequip your ropes and scepter and insert it to the hole. For this step, you're going to need a quest cape, a dragon two hand, a dragon shield, a dragon square shield, split bark body, bendos boots, obsidian cape, any color boater, barrows teleportation method. Also, I forgot to bring more Tanya legs to get the bird rod and any set of barrows equipment. I bought Trax because it was the cheapest. Use your barrows teleportation method and you can either do an entire barrows run or find the right chest to go through and in the chest room is where you build the stash. Fill it in with your barrows equipment and move on to the next thing. I'm going to use my max cape to teleport it to the spirit tree in my house, but you can also use your quest point cape. You want to configure it to BJS. Go east and there it is, right by the bridge. Now you want to use your Mauritania legs and teleport to Burderot. And we're going to head south. I want to build a stash at the northern wall of the castle. For this step, you are going to need Shadow Sword and a Zamark Full Helm. Before teleporting to Trollhelm, I would recommend bringing God items so you don't get killed. Go north across the bridge, east, and there it is in a corner. So these are the wilderness steps. You're going to need an Anacrol teleport and a Korok teleport. I recommend bringing a wilderness sword, a dragon mad helm, toxket steel, <laughs> rune plate body, brine saber, amulet of glory, black dehyde body, and vamps, and a dragon mask. I started off by teleporting to Gorok and then heading down the KBD cave. And here in the corner you can build your stash and fill it in. Then once in the KBD layer, you can teleport out to Anacrol and head south to the bottom of the Lava Dragons. Use the shortcut and build a stash here. And finally, the last step. Head down to the edge lever with the pair of flared trousers and two last links. And that's it guys, thank you so much for watching it. I hope this was quick and easy to understand. If you have any more questions, ask below and I'll try and answer. Bye!